American Horror Story fans have been asking, will the upcoming season 13 be the final season of the show? Well, we now have an answer to that question, alongside some very exciting murmurs about some veteran cast members potentially returning for next year's season. So let's jump right into it with that million dollar question, will American Horror Story end with season 13? The answer appears to be that no, American Horror Story will not end with season 13, and it will instead live on so long as Ryan Murphy wills it to. In an interview with The Wrap, Murphy said, quote, John Landgraf, who is the chairman of FX, is so cool about that. He always says, well, it's really up to you. I'll keep putting them on the air and making them. I would keep doing it for a long time. With all of that being said, let's now segue to the casting news that's had all of us shivering with anticipation. Pation. Firstly, Sarah Paulson all but confirmed that she will return to American Horror Story in an appearance on Good Morning America. And Murphy. Yes. Okay. Mm. And so, since you're working with him again, is yes. there a chance American Horror Story again? I think there is a big chance that I will return to American Horror Story. I've got everything crossed. I would like to do it more than anything. It's my home. It's where I started. Mm -hmm. I got to play, you know, seven different characters in seven years, which as an actor is the most exciting, thrilling thing and also allows an audience to be ready for anything you're going to do because they're not attached to one thing that you mm -hmm. do specifically. So that has given me a lot of career flexibility and so also just my favorite people. If I could be reunited with Evan Peters and Ryan Murphy, you can just pretty much tell me what time to be there <laughs> and I'll be there. I love that. Ryan Murphy too wants Sarah back on AHS, surprising fans with this quote from his interview with The Hollywood Reporter when he was asked when we could expect season 13. He stated, you know, that's an interesting question. I was talking to Sarah Paulson and Evan Peters about that the other day, so maybe sooner than you think. No deals have been signed just yet, so scheduling and all of that may cause some issues with this fantasy, but it appears as though signs are pointing to both Sarah Paulson and Evan Peters returning for their first season since season 10, so cross your fingers and everything else, and let's also hope that this season ends up a lot better than Double Feature did. If both Evan and Sarah will return for season 13, it would end up being both of their 10th appearances in the series. Speaking of how no deals have been signed just yet, it also appears that Ryan Murphy has not 100% decided on the theme for season 13 either. In that same interview with The Wrap, Murphy said that he's always developing multiple different seasons, but that if the stars align and both Sarah and Evan can do season 13, then he does know what theme he wants to do with the both of them. All of this is reminding me a lot of October 2016, back when Ryan Murphy began teasing both season 7 and season 8 as well as a potential third mystery season, which I think ended up manifesting as double feature. But undoubtedly, whatever these three are cooking up is sure to make some big waves. Before I move on to some other exciting AHS news, just as a little channel update, a few weeks ago I uploaded my three-hour deep dive on American Horror Story Cult, and it's honestly my favorite video I've ever done. So if you have the time, I'd really appreciate it if you checked it out if you haven't already, and also leaving the video a like and comment your thoughts really helps boost this video's chances in the algorithm, so any help you can go give that video is greatly appreciated. And to those of you who have commented your kind words of support on that video, thank you very much and I plan on continuing doing more deep dives in that same vein. But anyways, in another piece of exciting yet flimsy news, Ryan Murphy stated in that same interview that there is a large group of actors he wants to bring back to AHS, and the only one that he cared to name was none of other than Angela Bassett. Since Angela's final AHS appearance in Apocalypse, she's been incredibly busy with her film career as well as her starring role in 911, hence her absence on the show. But as a humongous fan of hers, I would literally die to see another original Angela Bassett role in AHS. And in other news, Ryan Murphy also dropped one last bombshell in that interview with The Wrap when he stated that Hallie Pfeiffer, the showrunner and sole writer for 
for AHS Delicate will return as showrunner for an upcoming season of AHS. Now, it's not entirely clear if Hallie Pfeiffer will showrun the idea that Ryan's been talking to Sarah Paulson and Evan Peters about, or if this second Hallie Pfeiffer season is a separate idea that she is developing on her own. If I were to assume, it would be the latter option, but who knows. I may not be a big fan of how Delicate turned out, and I do fear that she may have an uphill battle when it comes to some AHS fans. I think if she's actually given the time it takes to successfully develop a season of television, I do have faith that she can deliver something interesting. Now before I leave you, I want to give you some extra thoughts regarding the recently released second part of season 3 of the AHS spin-off, American Horror Stories. American Horror Stories has finally returned with the second batch of episodes making up its third season. These five episodes tackle various terrifying tales, backroom centers around the urban legend of the backrooms, clone is a complex robot drama, X is a black and white conspiracy thriller, Leprechaun introduces AHS's version of Leprechauns, and The Thing Under the Bed is a supernatural horror story about an entity that kills people from underneath their beds. I just ranked all of these new episodes along with every other American Horror Stories episode just last week, so be sure you check that out if you haven't already, but to sum up my thoughts on the new episodes, I was honestly a little disappointed by them. While what I can only assume are Manny Cotto's final two episodes in the franchise, X and The Thing Under the Bed, are my two favorite episodes of the season and they are genuinely solid horror stories, the others felt like they fumbled some really cool themes. Leprechaun and Backrooms were particular disappointments as they felt like they were hearkening back to previous episodes of this spinoff that the writers should know not to take inspiration from. The first four episodes of season three that were released last October were much stronger in my opinion, and I was hoping that these final five would keep up that same momentum. If Hulu decides to renew the show for a fourth season, I would definitely tune in with the hope that they'd confidently deliver a solid season of stories on a similar caliber of the main show, but with their latest effort, I wouldn't be surprised if now is the time that American Horror Horror Stories takes its curtain call. Another AHS adjacent show is Grotesquerie, the brand new horror show from Ryan Murphy that is currently airing on FX starring Niecy Nash Betts. While the TV ratings of Grotesquerie are nothing to write home about, the show appears to be doing well on Hulu, but again, streaming numbers are not as transparent as live TV ratings. But nonetheless, Ryan Murphy recently stated at a press conference that he envisions Grotesquerie being a five-year-long odyssey for both Niecy Nash Betts and Courtney B. Vance. I'm a couple episodes behind on Grotesquerie, and while I do think it's extremely similar to AHS, no matter how much Ryan Murphy professes it is not, it's undeniably reminiscent of seasons like Hotel and NYC, with strong notes of Colt and Roanoke as well. That being said, I think Niecy Nash Betts and Michaela Diamond are absolutely phenomenal in it. But other than those two performances, the show has yet to truly grip me, but let me know what you think of Grotesquerie in the comments below. Before I go, I want to let you guys know to look out for my next deep dive on season one of Scream Queens, which should drop sometime in November, but if you become a channel member or a patron, I will be posting an hour-long sneak peek of the deep dive by the end of this month, in addition to posting the full deep dive early next month as well, so if you've ever considered Consider joining my Patreon or my channel memberships, they're the same thing. Now is a better time than ever to do so. And with that, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.